the day begins and now let's see whether he was performing as the iconic Jean Valjean from Les Misérables or a rousing version of O Canada sung the last time the Blue Jays were contenders, no one sounded like Michael Burgess. Born in Regina, he had an early start joining Toronto's famed St. Michael's Choir, just blocks from one of the city's iconic music venues, Massey Hall. Every day I came past this building, usually late for class, carrying my books and a dream. The dream became real when Burgess landed the role of the defiant convict Jean Valjean in the new Canadian production of Les Miserables. But he underestimated the show's popularity. I never knew it was going to last that long. <laughs> it was 1989. Today, David Moosey is the managing director of Mervish Productions. As a member of the original Les Mis cast, he was there as the great tenor sang to thousands. And he sang to everyone everyone in every seat, sort of like he did with the national anthems later, that when he sang O Canada, there was a certain sense of pride he had when he sang that song. Tonight at theatres in Toronto and Ottawa, lights are being dimmed and flags are being lowered in tribute to Burgess, the kind of man who would lend his voice to a show, a great cause, or just a simple occasion. You know, constantly bump into people that would say, you know, Michael sang at their father's funeral, or Michael sang at their, you know, their child's um, an event. And I just think Michael just had this incredible ability to connect with people. Offstage, Michael Burgess was a private person and kept his lengthy battle with skin cancer out of the spotlight. Recently, he reached out to family and friends from St. Michael's, who gathered to support him, listening to the very music that made him famous. And all I can think of is you know, is, is in Bring Him Home, and the way he sings it so beautifully is Bring Him Home, Bring, his, bring Him Peace. It, it's, it's how he will remember it, and he did, he did go out with peace and dignity. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.